Okay, we're here today on the first ever Kajak's Gym podcast. I'm here with none other than Jax Ledbetter. What's up, Jax? Say hey to everybody. Hey. You're what? How old are you? Sixth grade. How you like in sixth grade? It's good. Jax of Kajak's Gym. When you're walking around your school, anybody ever go, Jax, there's Jax, Kajak's Gym? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Really? Yeah. Nah, what do they say? Like, oh, yeah, like the high schoolers, they go like, oh, yeah, aren't you Jax? Does your, does your dad own Kajak's Gym? Shoot. That's pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. Do you know anybody at your school that works out at Kajak's Gym? Not really. Like, personally, no. We just set this podcast and equipment up. How was that? Did you help me or did you play video games? I played video games. How do you feel about that? Do you feel accomplished? Yeah. Kai Jack's gym. How old were you when we started the gym? Do you know? Four. four. You were four. When Three. were you born? 2011. So when we officially started Kai Jack's gym, you were two and a half, three. Do you know that we originally, I originally wanted to name the gym Jack's gym? Yeah, y'all told me. Yeah, me and mom told you. Yeah. I mean, I just thought Jack's gym was like, boom, right there at it. Jack's, we're fucking around, man. We're on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you like that button? Yeah. What about this one? Oh, man. Last night was crazy. We did legs. There's this really cool thing. I'm hitting a button here. If I want to say the word fuck, it's just not going to let me. I'm just kidding. I hit that button. Where's the robot sound? You want to do the robot? Uh-oh. All right. We're trying to get you to loosen up, bro. Ask me some questions about the gym. Once you get the new gym, will you abandon in the old gym? Will I abandon the space? Yeah. I don't know. That space is pretty... I, I love the space, man. It's just open. It's got that covered dock. You know, the covered dock means a lot. It doesn't so much anymore, but it did when I was bringing gym equipment in. We'd back a 26-foot box truck up. We could unload everything out of the box truck, and it could still be out of the weather because it, it was under the roof. Yeah. But it, it wasn't in the gym yet. Mm-hmm. Do you ever remember going on gym equipment runs? Oh, yeah, all the time. Tell me. Tell me about some. Now, you're only 12, dude, so what do you mean all the time? Like, what's your earliest memory of buying gym equipment? The earliest? Yeah. Remember that one old warehouse we used to have back where, like, you know, that one old... When you when you bought the Hot Wheels from that one guy who had that mansion? Yeah. And I remember when you put all the Hot Wheels in that one warehouse? Yes. Yeah, I remember we go in there a lot. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was... I'm trying to think... God, that was 2016. Mm-hmm. So you so you remember being five? Yeah. So yeah, the Hot Wheels, dude, we got... We're going to get away from the gym for a second. We got... It was like 2,800 packs of Hot Wheels. Uh, Yeah. Did you ever take any? Did you ever steal any? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Well, you know stealing's wrong, right? No, I didn't. Kai did. Kai did? Yeah, yeah it seems like something Kai would do. He's mischievous. Kai... Bring the Hot Wheels back. <laughs> Five years old, huh? Now, I got pictures of you guys standing on top of thousands of pounds of plates and dumbbells. Do you remember any of that? Mm. I mean, I got pictures of y'all from, like, when you were two, just chilling on the fenders of the barbell sales trailer. Do you remember the barbell sales trailer? Like, the black chair, the black, the black trailer, mm-hmm. the, like, yellow. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. You know where it's at right now? Mm -mm. You don't know where the barbell sales trailer is? Like when you go to the gym. The barbell sales trailer is right out here in the back of the house. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's full of your children's clothes. That was a good question. Am I going to abandon the space? I I don't know. Probably because I don't think it's wise to pay a mortgage and rent. That's a fucking idiot for you. Yeah. So if you could buy that space, would you? No. Because the roof's already fell in once. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The toilets don't don't work. Um, the pipes are... No, I just wouldn't. It's, too, it's a basket case. Yeah, for three hundred grand or for $500,000, i would buy the entire space. Yeah. But I don't even think I'd want to... I don't think I would want my business in there. I'd rent out all the other spaces and collect... I mean, there's like 14 spaces in that building. If you, had, if you get 1,200, 1,500, you know, you're talking about 14,000 plus seven... What's that math? Twenty one thousand dollars a month coming in, and the note on five hundred thousand wouldn't be but about four 
4800 4700 So you could make some serious money just renting it out. So, yeah, I'd buy it, but I ain't paying $3 million for it because it's not worth that. It's a basket case. Yeah. I mean, that building is was built in the 50s, and it was a dog food processing plant. That's what that building is. Do you know that I have painted four of those spaces? Do you know how big the gym is? Yeah. I mean, it's like 15,000 square feet with 20-foot ceilings. Mm -hmm. I have painted four of those facilities. All right, so what else do you want to know? What was the best deal on a piece of gym equipment that you have ever, like, done? The, the best deal. Man, yeah. you're just jumping right into the cookies, aren't you? Mm-hmm. The best deal. I'll tell you I'll tell you one that made me the most excited. I was picking some equipment, delivering equipment towards Maryland, picking some equipment up. I had some really good equipment on the truck. And I think Ken was with me. And we're stopping and we're actually eating. I think we're eating at like Chili's or something. Somewhere that had a six ounce sirloin, mm -hmm. broccoli, and something mm -hmm. else. I probably had fries. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And... I either messaged a dealer or something popped up or no, a dealer messaged me and said, Hey Matt, uh, how much should I charge for this? And it was, a, it was a, it was an Avenger row. It was a Medex Avenger row. And I said, I got caught in the spot because geez, I mean, what are you doing in that situation? It's like somebody asking you Jack's, my grandma has a, a Dave Drake poem jar. W what should I ask for it? What are you going to do? Because you want to buy it, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't want to pay a, a million dollars for it. Or yeah. The last one that sold brought like $1.3 million, right? Yeah. So an Avenger row, anywhere from six to $8,000, maybe pushing 10000 now, and somebody messages me, hey, and now I'm five hours away from home, right? Hey, we just got this in. What should I ask? And I, I told I, I told the truth. I said, I don't know what you should ask, but I need that for my gym. And I'll pay $500. And you know what they said? What? Sold. <laughs> Dude. I couldn't even hardly eat. I was so freaking excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, it was really freaking cool. I mean, and you know what? The, you know the worst part about it, though? What? I was five hours away. I think I did send them the money like pretty much instantly, probably PayPal'd it to them. Back when I had a PayPal, I don't have PayPal now. PayPal's the devil, by the way. This, There will never be any PayPal advertisements on this podcast. I was anxious. I was like, this is too good to be true. You know, I, I was five hours from home. I couldn't go there the, till the next day. So the next day, the first thing I did was I showed up there and I, I got it on the back of my truck. What are the top five pieces of gym equipment in your gym? I just want, I'd like everybody to know that Jax is 12 years old. He's in sixth grade. I, I describe Jax as NASA smart. When people ask me, you know, uh, they don't ever say, is he smart? But when it gets brought up, I say, dude, he's NASA smart. That's how I need everybody to understand. Jax isn't reading off of a sheet of paper here. He's not, uh, I didn't tell him what to ask. These are excellent questions. And, I think you're diving into the meat of what this podcast is going to be about. So what are the top five pieces of the gym? Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you said the top five, because if you would have said what's the best piece in the gym, I would have had to say, I can't give you the best, but I'll give you the top five. Okay. Y'all ready to hear the top five pieces of gym equipment in Kai Jack's gym as of April 4th, 2024. And then we're going to have to leave this. I know, I know you guys are loving this. The top five, and I this is this is in no particular order. Okay, definitely the AFS leg press, the Avenger high pull, the flex decline, flex leverage decline. That is probably one of the most rarest pieces in the gym. Yeah. So I mean, is that three? Yes, three. I I mean, dude, I personally have had like ten of these, so to me. It's not, but I know to the people out there, the flex leverage pull down. That's got to be in the list. That is a super hard piece to find. I literally, I swear I've had 10 of them, man. You know, this, there used to be this guy. I think he, I don't even know where he was from. He would text me randomly. And I'm, when I say random, I mean like 8 o'clock at night. Hey, man, you might want to check this out. And he would send me a Craigslist link. Okay, that this was before Facebook Marketplace. He would send me a Craigslist link. And one time he sent me a Craigslist link 
to an to a flex pull down that was in Ohio for two hundred dollars. I couldn't believe it, and that's the one that's in the gym. I paid two hundred dollars for that flex uh, leverage pull down, and I sent these two kids that worked for me back then. They're not kids now; they were they were sixteen and seventeen then. Now they're like twenty four or something. And they went to an ice cream farm. That's where this was. So I got a picture of them standing beside the flex pull down eating ice cream from from this farm. So it's really cool. So is that four? Yeah. So we got the AFS leg press, the flex leverage decline, the flex leverage pull down, the Avenger high row. I don't think anybody even uses the Avenger high row. I don't, see, the Avenger high row is so rare. Nobody even knows what the hell it is. I mean, I know you don't even know what it is, but I'm talking about people who have gyms, gyms, and gyms don't know what the Avenger high row is. I'd say that's the top four. So the fifth one could be, it could be anything. It could be the swing squad. It could be the TK. We'll go with the TK star vertical leg press. How about that? Bought it from my boy TJ up in New York. And I sent Lee. Oh my God. Do we have time for this? Is that when he broke the box truck? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> do you remember that? Oh yeah. Do you, what do you know about that? He drove under a bridge that was too short for the box truck. Yeah. And then like the top of it just came off. <laughs> Dude, and I sent him to get this and I almost did not get insurance on the box truck. So we own a 26 foot Freightliner, but it's a 2007. It's got like 400,000 miles on it. Which ain't nothing. Listen, that's nothing for a diesel. Get off of that. But my truck is not roadworthy right now. So I did not want to send that. Plus, it was too big. So I sent him in a smaller. Thank God we didn't get the 26. That would have completely tore the bridge down. So he ends up on the some kind of parkway in the freaking box truck and hits the damn bridge. And he calls me and he goes, Matt, my God. I got some really bad news. I was like, what? He's like, he's like shook up. He's like, man, I hit the bridge with the box truck. And I go, Lee, are you lying? He goes, no, I would not lie about something like this. He's like, oh my God, I feel terrible. Uh, what are you going to do? What, what, what's going to happen? And I was like, Lee, it's a rental. It's okay. And I have insurance on it. Like everything is fine. If you're okay, I'm okay. And I was like, can you drive the truck? He was like, yeah, it's just got a huge, and it didn't tear the box off, but it did have a freaking five foot gash where, it, where it ripped through the bridge. Wow. But do you know what was in that box truck? The TK star. What? TK star. Vertical. Vertical. Leg, leg press. press. Yep. Uh, in my opinion, well worth it. Yeah. All right, dude, that's 16 minutes on our first ever Kijak's Gym uh, podcast. Dude, I think it went good. I, You know what? I, I don't need anybody to help me do this. You're the one, dude. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? It's good. Uh, we just need your mic awareness. I need my mic awareness. I don't know how to talk like a monster. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway. So next time, we'll see you guys next time on this motherfucking podcast. You want to say bye? Bye. <laughs>